Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do one end-to-end -end Azure Data Factory project. In this particular video we are going to see how actually you can perform a SCD type 1 operation in Azure Data Factory. SCD type 1 is one of the most common scenario which we generally perform in a real time. Here also we are going to understand what is SCD type 1, how actually it works. We also have a business requirement, we will try to understand the business requirement. We will think about the solutioning part and then we will move for the practical. So that is the agenda for this particular video. Now let us understand the business requirement. We have a data that is coming into the blob storage account from my external resources. So we have a blob storage. In this blob storage, we have a container. Container name is employee. In this container, we are getting a data on a daily basis from my external resources. Now you can see this is the CSV file. We have ID, salary, location, this kind of the data we are getting continuously on a daily basis. Now what we have to do, we need to copy our data into the Azure SQL database. We have to copy this data, the CSV data into the SQL database. So we also have a SQL table. In this SQL table, we have to copy our data which is coming from a CSV file. Now it is not like a directly you are copying all the data into the SQL database because as we are performing a SCD type 1 operation so we have to keep few things in our mind. Now first let us understand how actually the SCD type 1 works and then we will come to this particular scenario. In the case of the SCD type 1 we don't keep any historical data we only keep the latest record in the table. So that is how the SCD type 1 works. Let me give you example. Suppose we have a ID column, suppose we have a date of joining column, suppose I have a the name column and suppose I have a salary column. This is the data what I have. Suppose I am an employee, my ID is 1, I joined on 2022, my name was Manish or my name is Manish, my salary was 5000 on 2022. On 2023, name will be the same, right? But my salary got updated to the 10,000. Now in this case, this, this particular record is a new record and this was the historical record. Right? Suppose, again on 2024, name and id will be the same but my salary got updated to the 20,000 now in this case this particular entry is my new record and this became the historical record historical record now in this case what is the latest record latest record is this right so in the case of the scd type 1 we only keep the latest record we don't keep the historical data into the table so that is how the scd type 1 works now in this case we are performing a SCD type 1 operation right so we have to check the previous data in the SQL if the data is already present then we need to update that data now you can see here we have a ID 1 is coming now whenever you are copying a data from a CSV to the SQL right and whenever you are performing SCD type 1 first you have to check that if the data which is already present then we have to perform a update operation because whatever the new record which is coming that is coming into the CSV file so you can see ID 1 salary got updated to the 10,000 right so means if the record is already present then we have to perform an update operation so that only the latest record it will contain now you will see the ID 2 ID 2 is not present into this SQL table right then what we have to do we have to perform an insert operation so if the new record is coming which is not present into the SQL then we will perform an insert operation if the record is already present in the SQL then we will perform an update operation so that we will only keep the latest record in the table we will not keep the historical data so that is how the SCD type 1 operation works now let's do a practical and let's try to understand so first let me show you my blob storage so this is the blob storage I have a container in this container, you can see employee2.csv file. I have a CSV file. Let me show you. Snapshot. Edit. Preview. 
so you can see i have a employee id name salary and location this particular record i have in a blob study and this is a new record i have a database in the database if i'll show you this is a particular table i have this is the sql table there we have to load the data now if i will show you in this employee table i have a employee id first name salary and the location employee id 1 2 and 4 which is already present now what we have to do, we have to copy a data from this blob storage to the SQL database by using a Azure Data Factory. Now in this case, if you will see employee ID 1, which is already present into this particular table. Salary is 10,000, name is Manis. And here you can see the salary became the 20,000. In this case, what we have to do, we have to perform an update operation uh, in this particular case for ID 1 id 5 and 3 these are the new entry right then we will try to insert that entry into this particular table so that is the operation we will do with the help of the azure data factory now let's see how easily we can do so i open my azure data factory studio click on the author we are going to create a data flow so i'll click on the new data flow first we will select the add a source click on the add a source in the source First, we have to select the data set. So, you can see the data set, right? Click on the new. What is source? Source is available in a blob storage. So, I will select the blob storage here. Continue. My file is CSV file. So, I will select the delimited text CSV file. Then, we have to give the link service. What is link service? So, that we can connect with the, our blob storage. So, for that, we have to give the connection. So, we will select the, our subscription. We will select our the blob storage account and then we will test it. it is, you can see connection successful. Click on the create. Now, after that, we have to give the file path. So, I will directly give the file path. first row as header click on the ok now our data set is ready now what we will do if you want to preview this data set click on the open and click on the preview you can see we are able to preview over the source file go to the data flow and there is one more option click on the here uh, source file Go to the source option, go to the projection because this is the CSV file, right? So, by default, it, it will take all column as a string format. So, we have to change that. I'll change a uh, employee ID into the integer and salary also integer. So, that is how actually we have done. Now, go to the data preview, click on the data flow debug and after that once it will be ready data flow debug then you will be able to preview your data here also now this our source is now ready now what we have to perform we have to we are performing a cd type 1 operation right so for that what actually i will do i'll click on the plus and i will select a alter row i'll click on the alter row now you can see output stream so it is coming from uh, this is the name is alter row 1 incoming stream is the source 1 alter row condition so what is the perf perform we are going to do we are going to perform a upset operation so i'll click on the upset based on what condition so that condition we have to give so open expression in in this condition we are will directly write 1 equal equal to the 1 okay so this is the condition we are writing now if you will click on the data preview you will be able to see the record we are performing a update operation now what is a sync now after alter row we'll click on the plus and we'll go to the sync click on the sync now in this sync we have to create again a data set for our sync location so our sync is the azure sql database so i'll select the sql database click on the continue we are going to create a new link service we'll select our subscription we'll select our server we'll select our database 
and the authentication we have to provide username and the password click on the test connection and see whether it is successful or not click on the create table name we have to select employee table click on the ok now in the data preview you will be able to see a, a data also now go to the mapping go to the setting and here you can see we have option allow insert delete upset and update what actually we are performing we are performing a upset right so i select the upset click on the allow upset what is the column based on which particular column we want to see based on the employee id means if the employee id is same that is the then only we have to perform an upset operation so that is the that is the thing i have selected and uh, after that go into the mapping go to the data preview refresh it now you can see 20,000, 5,000 and the 10,000 ok go to the mapping it is not mapped properly so we will select that employee id to the employee id mapping first name to the name mapping and the location into the uh, location mapping so that we have done now i'll go to the data preview go to the mapping go to the setting click on the employee id so the name is employee id that's why it was coming error now coming to the data preview now if i will refresh i should see the data now let's see whether how actually it is showing you can see it is showing employee id first name salary and the location now what we will do now you can see employee id 1 employee id 1 which is already present now salary was 10,000 in a SQL database now you can see it got updated with the newest record now in a SQL we are also getting the 5 and 3 record right these are the new entries so that entry is coming here means our uh, from a data debug perspective we are good now what I will do I will click on the publish all click on the publish once it will publish what I will do I will click on the new pipeline click on the new pipeline we will try to debug this uh, data flow here we'll click on the publish all once again everything looks good right now after that we'll try to trigger it and we'll see whether it got updated into the sql table or not it is still publishing so let's wait so as a type one where we don't keep a historical data that actually you have to understand and we only keep the latest record you can see publish is completed i'll click on that trigger click on the trigger now click on the ok now go to the monitor window in this monitor window you can see my pipeline is running let's see whether it is success or it is failure if any failure then we'll try to debug otherwise we will try to see the data which is got updated or not so in employee 2 i have a employee id 1 money is 20000 india that is a new that is a new record uh, latest record it should be updated 5 and 3 is the new entry so that should insert so let's see it got finished or not it's running so let's wait for that now you can see it is succeed now now i will go to the my database previously you can see i had only three entry one two and four now and let's see now also you can see previous entry employee id salary was ten thousand now let me execute one more time now you can see we have a five entry and id one also got updated salary to the twenty thousand so means our pipeline is working fine whenever new entry will come and this is how the acidity type 1 works
so i hope you got overall idea that's it in this video thanks for joining